I found out that this whole time I was not using my legal name. I've been using my birth name all along. I was I was shocked because, you know, to, most of my life, my adulthood, I did I did not know that this name was my legal name. I thought the name that I was going by, you know, my birth name, I thought that that was my legal name. No, it was my birth name. From that point forward, I just I felt it. It was something within me um, kept wanting to research and seek more knowledge about Islam. A big inspiration as well is that I learned that Islam took away the guessing game. It created an outline for me, so I didn't have to wake up trying to figure out what am I going to do for the day. No, the very first thing I do every morning is wudu. I uh, take a shower. I do wudu, and then uh, fajr, salat. It sets the tone every single day. I, it takes out the gu guessing game, right? I, I've never felt the uh, tranquility and nor understood what tranquility truly mean until I, I uh, reverted back to Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ali Sajid Muhammad. Welcome to my revert story, me returning to Islam from Christianity. I took my Shahada about like five days ago. So I'm actually super, super new. Alhamdulillah. I went to a local masjid. It was on a Friday and uh, I just walked in and uh, I, w I was technically late because um, there was someone already speaking there, but come to find out afterwards, there were uh, they were holding two services, and it was um, all about uh, Christmas, Muslims and Christmas, how not to celebrate, don't travel, what to say when um, someone says Merry Christmas, and all these things. And I just it was actually the perfect time to go. Um, because it was like it was just weird a lot of the questions that i had and or were looking forward to were, were being answered i actually wasn't planning on uh, reverting to islam on this day i just felt moved um i, I just felt like it needed to happen my goal was to actually do it two months after the fact, like in around February, we're in December now. I was planning on taking my Shahada in like February time. And it just happened. I just went, everything made sense. Uh, prayed a lot, bawled my eyes out, walked up and asked to take Shahada. The beautiful thing is <laughs> once I took my Shahada, uh, all the brothers, it was very weird. It was, you know, uh, you know, we shouted the uh, tech beer and then everybody just started walking up one. It was actually very overwhelming. Uh, one after another, shaking my hand, you know, welcome, brother and, and, and praising. And it was just a lot. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. I didn't see that. I'd seen some people take shahadas, but I I did not expect that at all. That is not what I seen. So that was definitely overwhelming and to a certain extent uncomfortable but beautiful at the same time, if that makes sense. So what, what made me return to Islam? So if you want to hear a little bit more about my history and why I say return, please let me know in the comments below. But uh, long story short, I found out that this whole time I was not using my legal name. I've been using my birth name all along until I, I asked my mother, I was like, hey, you know, I'm actually interested in in a passport. I want to get a passport. She's like, oh, oh, well, um, just to let you know, you have a different name. And I was like, oh, oh, really? So, you know, what is it? And she told me it was Ali Sajid Muhammad. And I don't know. I was just I was I was shocked because you know to, most of my life my adulthood i did i did not know that this name was my legal name i thought the name that i was going by 
you know, my birth name, I thought that that was my legal name. No, it was my birth name. And she changed it, um, you know, during my younger years when I went to Africa to study uh, the Quran in Arabic. Once again, if you want, you know, some more info on that, that'll definitely be a, a separate video. Just let me know. But long story short, I found out that was my name. It took me back. I remember all my experiences as a child. And I, from that point forward, I just I felt it. It was something within me um, kept wanting to research and seek more knowledge about Islam. You know, I, I, I subtly disregarded it. But then, you know, one thing led to another. I started seeing certain things um, and I just wanted to kind of uh, research that a little bit more. Shortly after that, I started watching debates. Um, I started watching debates with brothers such as Muhammad Hijab, uh, Ali Dawa, you know, uh, Muhammad Ali at the uh, Muslim Lantern and several others watching debates, debates against Christianity. I'll link some of those uh, videos in the description below, but some of the videos that kind of um, moved me. Um, but yeah, uh, watching those debates, it really started tugging at, at me and my beliefs, and it allowed me to objectively and confidently um, question a lot of the things that I was following. After having a quarter life identity crisis, I picked up a book. I seen I seen on a profile someone saying that their favorite book of all time was the um, autobiography of Malcolm X told by Alex Haley. So and I'm not the biggest book reader. Um, actually, I'm in graduate school. If you want to hear more about that, please comment below. But even being in school for several years, um, I still um, was not a big, not a big reader. And but I picked up this book. I seen that it was 400 plus pages. I honestly told myself, you know, I'm not going to finish it. I, buy, I have tons of books. I have a huge library of books um, that I buy and I just never read. I read this book from cover to cover. And it was one of the best books that I have ever read. If you ever forget, it's right here. The Autobiography of Malcolm X. It was splendid. I learned a lot about myself culturally. I learned a lot about what I expected from Islam. And I learned how it aligned to who I wanted to be and what I wanted to do. Extraordinary book. It's amazing. Um, and Malcolm X, honestly, is very, very underrated in my humble opinion. Anyways, that's beside the point. The point is, then I started practicing Islam uh, before I took my Shahada. So I've been, I've been slowly kind of practicing, putting up uh, some of the standards, some of the pillars in, into, into place before my Shahada, just to make sure that you know, what I was hearing, what I was believing, um, the conviction that was coming up, up, up amongst me, was it truly what I wanted to do? And I quickly learned that is what I wanted to do. One of the biggest things that that inspired me to come over to Islam is the diet. I've always been on um, a diet journey for a very long time now. I've, I've, I've known that the food and meat that we can con we that we consume secularly today, it's not very good for us. Uh, people are getting sick at astronomical rates, right? That was my biggest thing. I knew that, and I, I started you know doing different diets. So I tried you know I've done vegan. Realized that just that just wasn't for me. I, it's a great cleanser. I think everyone should do like a, a two weeks two week vegan challenge once a year to cleanse your body. Um, and then I, 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 you know, I then I moved over to vegetarian, did that for a bit, and then I just went back to kind of just regular eating. But I always knew that there was a better diet that'll help protect us in the long run. And guess what that is, ladies and gents, brothers and sisters, halal is the answer, right? Now I'm not. You can still do vegan. 
And you can still do vegetarian, but halal, make it halal, right? Um, it's just such a beautiful thing. That captured me. I'm a, I'm a big foodie. You know, we're all going to have our different graphs, our, our different things. And I'm a big foodie. And I truly believe that Islam protects your body, your mind, and your spirit at, at the fullest, right? So that was a grasper for me. Um, started adjusting, you know, visiting to the halal store, getting uh, halal meats, checking ingredients, really diving into that. And I'm still learning that today. I don't have it perfect, perfected yet, but still learning that today. Um, a big, a big thing of, of a big inspiration as well is that I learned that Islam took away the guessing game. It created an outline for me, so I didn't have to wake up trying to figure out what am I going to do for the day. No, the very first thing I do every morning is wudu. I take a shower, I do wudu, and then uh, fajr, salat. It sets the tone every single day. I, it takes out the gu guessing game, right? It's like taking a whole closet, um, throwing away all the, all, all the extra clothes and, and minimizing your closet. And you're like, what am I going to wear today? And you already know. It's simple to see. Uh, it's just like that. It takes out the guessing game, created an outline for me. And uh, I just love that and I uh, respect that. Alhamdulillah. Um, shortly after I told my mom, um, she was super supportive, gave me some history about my upbringing, a little more in depth about Islam. Once again, I plan on doing a, a, a separate video just talking about a little bit of my history and my upbringing. Um, that will align to my revert. And why I actually call it return, uh, return to Islam, right? And then I told my wife uh, and I got a, um, a mostly positive response, but she quickly made sure to mention that as long as I didn't become a polygamist, right? So then that, that was the first realization like, the perception of this journey is not going to be all rainbows, sunshines, and butterflies, right? There's going to be some some challenges that I have to overcome. And that that right there kind of let me know uh, was the introduction to that a little bit, right? And then shortly after, Christmas came. And I would love to make a separate video about my Christmas, my first Christmas as a Muslim, because at this point, I already taken my Shahada. I re already received feedback about how to be a Muslim on Christmas. But, you know, um, what I didn't learn was that the response that you would get when someone texts you and say, you know, Merry Christmas and you text back and say, you know, I appreciate the sentiment, uh, but I, I don't I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. I have reverted to Islam. How are you doing? And then they leave you on red or just they ghost you. They don't text you at all. People that have been very important in your life all the way up until this point. Right. That's when I realized that this was going to be to a certain extent a lonely, lonely journey. And this is what inspired me to create this channel and um, create a community of people uh, that can potentially uh, join me, follow me and lead me. Um, teach me some good ways of being a Muslim, giving me feedback in the comments, constructive criticism, um, holding me accountable, noticing if you see certain things, um, you know, that you don't deem appropriate, um, letting me know that respectfully, right? Let me know about that, inshallah. Um, I will close out saying I, I've never felt the uh, tranquility and nor understood what tranquility truly mean until I, I uh, reverted back to Islam. So far, I understand I'm in, in, you know, you can say I'm in the honeymoon stage, right? So things are a little more heightened than the average, but I look forward to every prayer, every salat. I truly don't understand how, um, you know, some people, and this is not to judge, but I'm just saying how some people cannot pray five times a day. It is 
the most beautiful thing I've ever experienced. It's, it's the one time I felt like my anxi- anxiety, depression, fears, um, uncertainty just disappears, it evaporates. At that po- point when I'm doing Salat, I just focus on being one with Allah and that is it. So if you enjoyed this, um, you know, my personal revert return story um, and you would love to, to kind of see how I'm going forward with this, please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know, you know, what aspects you would like me to discuss, talk about, I have a couple of ideas already. So stay, please stay tuned. Um, turn, turn on the notification bell. This is going to be exciting. It's going to be great. I want to see what y'all have to say. Um, let me know when, when you reverted, if you were born, born Muslim, uh, if you're thinking about becoming a Muslim, like I said earlier, I'm, I am going to post some videos that I've watched that kind of helped me transition. I'm going to have videos up of what I've done so far, uh, to learn, um, Salat, um, and then um, to learn a little bit more deeply about Islam. I'm also in a class right now learning Arabic. You know what class I'm doing. I'm going to be posting things um, revolved around that as well. Um, but yeah, I, I thank you so much for just tuning in. Um, taking the time, uh, listening to my story. I know there's several stories out there. Um, and then next, I'm just going to give you a little bit of my, my history, um, you know. Why I think, you know, being a Muslim is coming a little more easier. Why Arabic is going to come a little more easier for me. Um, So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Allahu Akbar.